Hello. This is a quick demo showing uh, the first print I've made of what's called uh, NinjaFlex TPE on my 3D printer, uh, which stands for Thermoplastic Elastomer. Uh, so this is a new material I'm trying on my uh, MakerBot Replicator 2. Uh, I made a, a quick little test print here with um, a little name. Uh, it's just basically a cylinder uh, with something inside it. Uh, this says SecTech Solutions. Um, but uh, I wanted to kind of demonstrate uh, how this particular material uh, behaves and works after coming off the printer. Um, so this is designed to be a very soft filament, um, very rubbery. And uh, you can kind of see that uh, this I can actually really squeeze completely and it will retain its shape. Um, so this is a very cool application of uh, 3D printing here. And um, a few uh, interesting things I found about this particular filament, um, because it's really stretchy and it feels that way when it's still on the spool, um, there's some very particular settings. Um, it was kind of difficult today to get all the correct settings to make sure this um, filament extrudes correctly. Uh, for one, the temperature has to be very precise. Uh, I can usually, um, when I usually print with PLA, I usually print with between 210 to 230 degrees C. Um, this I had to print at exactly 220 degrees C for it to print correctly. Um, also, I had to upgrade my extruder uh, to the uh, to an extruder that supports soft PLA because what was happening was the filament itself was starting to wrap around uh, the stepper motor that extrudes the uh, the filament. So. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit stringy on the bottom. This is my first attempt. Uh, some online recommendations basically said to uh, reduce the speed of the um, extrusion. I'm actually trying that right now. Uh, but as you can see, it's um, I'm pretty impressed with the material itself. Very, very flexible. And um, basically, you can just kind of you know squeeze this thing to, into nothing, and it will still retain its shape. You can bend it in any orientation, and um, it seems to work out. Uh, pretty well here. So um, I'm excited about this filament. Um, it is a bit more expensive, about three to four times more expensive than the regular plastic PLA that I buy off Amazon or other resources. Um, but uh, I'm excited to try this out on different applications. If you have a cool application um, you recommend uh, or another uh, part you see on Thingiverse that, uh, that might be cool to uh, try out the demo um, or I can even make something, let me know and uh, I can try it out. So thank you.